What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we're gonna to be talking about Wi-Fi 6 as well as a brand new wireless router known as the Amplify Alien. Okay, so just what is Wi-Fi 6? Well, instead of using complicated names like wireless N or wireless AC, we can now use a number to make things easier. So the last generation of Wi-Fi, which was known as wireless AC, is now known as Wi-Fi 5, and the new standard that was released last year called wireless AX is now known as wireless 6. Okay, so what are the major benefits of Wi-Fi 6? Well, it can get pretty complicated, but long story short, Wi-Fi 6 gives you better efficiency, faster speeds, more capacity, less interference, and even better battery life for your phones and tablets. Okay, so enough about that. Today with me, I have the Amplify Alien wireless router. So the Alien router by itself retails for around 379 bucks, but what I have with me today is the two-pack mesh wireless system that comes with the router and an additional access point for around $700. So that price isn't cheap, but it's about right on par with what I've seen from the other Wi-Fi 6 mesh wireless systems. And considering the performance that you get from a single router you probably don't even need the second unit unless you live in a freaking mansion which I'll show you in a little bit so in the box you get two units which have a tall cylinder shape to them you also get some quick start documentation an Ethernet cable and two power cords for the units so my first impressions of these units is that they look really nice but they're definitely bigger than I expected the main router has four gigabit ports on the back and hidden under the bottom is a WAN port as well as the power jack and on the front you'll find a 4.7 inch full color touchscreen it looks awesome and the bottom of it lights up green of course because it's an alien so the touchscreen shows useful information like the number of devices that are connected you can run an internet speed test a mesh access point speed test the current time current activity and a few other cool things and the mesh access point is exactly the same size as the main router it doesn't have a screen but it does still have the LED light on the bottom and flipping it over you see a single Ethernet port and a power jack and you can either use that Ethernet port to wire the mesh access point directly to the main router for faster speeds or you can use it to plug in a device like a laptop or gaming console so setting this thing up is super easy you just download the amplify app and it walks you through the setup process which took me just over one minute once i got everything wired up and if you get the two-pack system then the mesh access point pops right up in the app so you don't even need to set it up and the Amplify app is nice and simple. Once you open it up, you can see your router and tapping on the router gives you a bunch of settings, including some general settings like the name of your device and the sound level for the sound effects. And you get a bunch of wireless settings, including multiple SSID names, which is a welcome addition. And of course you can change your internet settings, including bridge mode, which I highly recommend if you plan on using this with an existing modem. You get LCD and LED brightness settings as well as night mode. So the lights don't bother you when you sleep. You can run a speed test, adjust network settings, and see all of the devices that are connected to your network and even pause the internet on certain devices. All right, so enough about the app, let's see some real world performance. So I'll be using a Galaxy S10 Plus, which has Wi-Fi 6, which is indicated by the tiny six that you can see next to the Wi-Fi icon. So first we'll run a speed test a few feet away from the router and see what we get. All right, so just a few feet away, I got 830 megs down and 706 meg up, which is absolutely insane for a cell phone. Okay, so we see how awesome the speeds are in the same room as the router, but let's see what happens when you go a little farther away. All right guys, so now I'm downstairs in my home theater. So I actually have the main router upstairs in my kitchen and I'm one floor away and about 40 feet away from it. So I wanna see how we do when we're a little ways away in another part of the house. So let's go ahead and run a speed test. So we got a 3.0 ping, that's pretty good. And we're getting, oh my God, we got over 500 down. Let's see what we get up. Upload speeds a little, should be a little slower. And we're getting just over, yep, just over 100, so 108 up. That is pretty good. All right, so the next test I wanna run is gonna be outside. I'm actually standing all the way out in the street right now. So as you can see, the house is over there. Hopefully you can see it, it's all the way over there. So the router is actually in my kitchen. So it's all the way over there. So what I wanna do is do a speed test standing out here in the street and see just how far this can go and put Wi-Fi 6 to the test. So let's go ahead and do this. So we still got around a three ping, which is great. And I'm getting, oh my God, 200, over 270 down. Let's see what the upload is. Maybe that's lower. Okay, that is, that's still really good. So, uh, 57 up. That's good. Now, for the ultimate test, I want to go over here to 
we have right in front of my garage over here for some strange reason when i run all my speed tests over here i get really really bad speeds so i want to test this out and let's see what we get standing right in front of this garage door because like i said i mean with some of the wi-fi 6 or wi-fi 5 routers i was getting like two three meg right here so let's see what we get with wi-fi 6 here this is going to be a really good test so we still got a six ping okay oh my god over 200 down that's <laughs> way better and let's see what we get on upload okay so it's upload is considerably lower so looking at about 20 24 23 all right yeah 24 up almost 25 that's really really good all right guys so now i'm upstairs in my wife's office and i want to run a speed test from the mesh wireless access point so the main router is downstairs about 60 or 70 feet away so it's not directly wired to it we're actually wirelessly connected so let's see what kind of speed test we get from this so it looks like we're gonna get oh my god we almost got 600 we got 559 down which is crazy let's see what we get on the upload it looks like we're almost pushing 500 we got 494 up so these speeds are crazy for the mesh wireless access point to be wirelessly connected to the main router all right so i'm still standing in the same spot but now the phone is connected downstairs to the main router instead of the wireless access point so this would be a good test for people who want to see if you could just get away with the router by itself so again we're about 60 or 70 feet away and one floor up from the main router and it looks like we're still getting over 400 we almost got 500 we're getting 499 down let's see what we get on the upload so it looks like we got oh, still over 100, we got 121 up. So even though the upload speeds aren't quite as fast as the download, you can still get really good speeds with just the main router, even if you don't have the wireless access point. So as you can see guys, the Amplify Alien gave us some pretty good speeds. And just in case you're interested, here's a graph of all the speeds I got from these speed tests. And judging by these results, I think it's safe to say that Wi-Fi 6 is noticeably faster. The biggest difference you can see here is the test outside in the driveway where the Wi-Fi 5 routers barely gave me any signal at all. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video guys and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on the videos that I'll be posting over the next few months, especially as I test out more of these wireless systems. And of course, later on this year, I will be doing a roundup video for the best Wi-Fi, so you don't wanna miss out on that either. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.